continue our conversation here with uh, Obai Shabandar. You know, it was interesting, Obai, when, when Jens Stoltenberg was speaking about just about two hours ago, he said something interesting. It was almost like he was taking a new angle when he seemed to want to repitch, resell NATO to the United States and convince Trump that the alliance is good for the United States and more importantly, good for its image as a world power. Uh, it struck me that he was thinking very carefully about the kinds of words a man like Donald Trump would want to hear, things that matter to the U.S. image abroad as the most powerful country in the world. Well, that was a very smart move on the part of the Secretary General of NATO trying to play that mediating role. And it was interesting to see in that family photo of the NATO member states, Chancellor Merkel is just two steps away from, uh, from President Trump, although it doesn't seem that they're they're speaking or perhaps they're not on, on speaking terms anymore after, after this morning. But in all seriousness, let's look at Northern Europe, Norway. The Secretary General himself was the former Prime Minister of Norway. Norway is seen by Western Europe and by the United States as the northern flank of Europe when it comes to defending it against any possible Russian incursion. We're seeing a lot of Russian military exercises in the Baltics, around Finland, around Norway. And there was a small contingent of American Marines that was deployed to Norway not that long ago. These military exercises take place between the U.S., NATO, and Norway, and the Baltic states. All these countries are neighboring on, on border Russia and have a distinct fear of any possible, not only Russian military incursion, but of hybrid warfare like we saw in Crimea, the so-called little green men. So there are multiple potential threat vectors emanating from Russia that these countries that are bordering Russia and Eastern Europe and Northern Europe fear, and they need the United States military to back them up. Okay, Ubai, we will leave it there for now. Thanks so much for, for your analysis. Now, as we can see, the NATO summit is...